This is Blonde Records Music News, powered by Left Bank Magazine. I'm Rebecca Sansom. Breaking news! My house got broken into while I was home. In a nightmare scene, I woke up to my head worn moving, I see an arm sweeping back my bedroom windows, curtain, and a man coming in. Got some of it on camera, including where I realized the only thing that's going to stop him from fully entering the room is to scream like a motherfucker, so that's what I did. Turns out, when I'm in the middle of a high anxiety adrenaline situation, I go into this deeply southern mountain woman character that sounds like this. Hey! Someone's in the house! Call the 911! <sighs> in other news, these vertical concerts that people are putting on at hotels, where you rent a room with a balcony and the artist plays on the ground, are making me really happy. I want to go to one of these. Have any of you gone? I can picture one at a cute little courtyard boutique hotel in New Orleans. You know who I'd like to see at a vertical concert in New Orleans? Cassidy Lewis. She's our featured artist this week, and she's currently based in New Orleans. Her latest release, Technicolor, dropped on July 25th. You got me seeing Technicolor all the time. And we're so happy to have her here today. I just released a new song called Hideaway, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys. Well, it's five in the morning, I can't sleep. My mind always gets the best of me I just wanna know Are you for keeps Help me to escape this insanity We're Twin Cities I'll give you a map If you give me a key Let's leave them in the need Run away with me To our hideaway Our hideaway Our hideaway Let me take you to a hideaway Let's hide away In our hideaway Give us some space in our hideaway Hideaway In our hideaway Thank y'all so much. That was so nice. Thank you, Cassidy. Can y'all believe Trump had the audacity to actually ban TikTok? That's literally a thing dictators do. Here with more emphatically emphasized music news for you is M. Rebecca, thank you so much. Thank you, Left Spank. Thank you, Blonde Records. Tim and Fred Williams have gone viral. They are known as Twins the New Trend, and yes, they are. They released this reaction video of them listening to Phil Collins for the first time, and it is giving music a future. <laughs> In other news, Juju Garcia, local Brooklyn artist, has released their single Seesaw, a banger of Japanese orgasmic proportions. I'm very excited to announce that Michael Ryder will be releasing I Wore a Shield on August 21st. I wore a shield. Into the day, into the day, I gotta be braver. I it's a song that I produced and it is so beautiful. Michael is an incredible flower of an artist and we wish you so much love, Michael. If you're creative looking for a weekly hangout social networking mixer opportunity, every Sunday at 8 p.m., I suggest you check out Breaking Bread, where you can share stories, resources, and warm conversation with the one and only Little Matriarch. Hey, Eliza here. Little matriarch. I invite people to bring their dinner and play off of sharing a meal together and in the tradition of a potluck, uh, since you can't bring a meal, if there's any sort of resource that you want to share uh, that you think would benefit the table, I always encourage people to just share resources and just have great conversation and meet people from all over. Every time we've had people log in from all over the country and it's just been a beautiful bond and I hope for it to grow, so come through. M absolutely slayed their Together at Home concert on Amazon Music last Thursday. 
If you weren't one of the 4,000 people mesmerized live, here is a recap. Let But here we are, hearts are hand in hand. Uh, Myself and the Myth. On YouTube, Amazon Prime. And Goldilocks, our featured artists. Amazon Twitch, thank you so much. We love you. You can still watch the whole thing at Amazon Music's Twitch channel. Blonde Records is releasing our first electronic dance track this Friday with DJ Father Space Cadets, America's Funhouse. What do you do for your country? What, what does your country do for you? Pre-save that and get ready for more announcements coming soon. Additionally, Friend of Blonde Cherry Jungle is releasing their Blind Melon cover of Mouthful of Cavity. Now, here with more release news, live from Brooklyn, it's Sam Sumter. Thanks, Rebecca. Let's talk local music. A huge congrats to Linda Diaz for mastering the Tiny Desk. The NYC singer-songwriter was the winner of this year's NPR Tiny Desk concert, which was just announced earlier this week. She won with her incredible submission for the song Green Tea Ice Cream. My name is Linda Diaz, and this is my Tiny Desk application for the Tiny Desk Contest 2020. Five, you're running holes Through your sneakers, through your soul Should be busy living life But you just haven't got the time You'll love to see it. You can watch that performance online now and check out the remix of that song, which came out earlier this year. And next up in music, I've had it on repeat all weekend. We have Mariposa, the new single from Delwater Gap, which just dropped on Friday. You stare at me like we Getting along with you was hard enough The first time I was alone with you Be sure and check this out and while you're there, check out his previous 2020 single and my absolute obsession, a song called Ode to a Conversation Stuck in Your Throat. And while you're there, just everything else he's ever done. Cannot say enough good things. On Friday, we premiered Little Raptures, the new song from Saliza. The artist described this as a lyrical collage based on experiences woven around a common theme, finding strength and leaving behind perspectives to give space for rebirth of self, which is far more poetic than I ever could have put that. This is the second part of the artist's double A-side release, and you can listen to both songs everywhere now. One super big bright spot in July was the release of Glacia's debut record for the very last time. Super rad album, absolutely in love with it. Um, as for what you can expect, uh, I hope you're ready for this. The artist said he wanted it to sound like a hymnal dance record that Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young would have made had they been hanging out one summer in Ibiza on ecstasy in 1988. Um, as for what that super specific and super rad hypothetical sounds like, well, you'll have to listen and find out. 
And finally, I am thrilled to share that on the first edition of Two Times Tuesdays, our fundraising live stream series for Bands to BK, we raised $520 for the Audrey Lord Project. Um, huge thanks to Oceanator for an incredible performance, to everyone who tuned in and donated. And be sure to tune in this week on Instagram at 7 p.m. on Tuesday for Color Time. The band will be raising money for the Equal Justice Initiative, so don't miss it. Thank you so much. This has been Bands Do BK. Remember, this is your guide to Brooklyn by bands for everyone. Find us online. Back to you, Rebecca. Thank you, Sam. Congratulations to Celeste Krishna and Monarchs for the extremely well-received release of Tides, the opening track of My Blue Heart. Thank you to American Songwriter for the beautiful write-up on the album. We'll put it down yonder in the show notes for you. Additionally, pop duo We Love Group Work released the single Good Time. You can find that on Bandcamp. Check out the new Shay New podcast where I interview Goldilocks and we talk about Twitch trolls and how she navigates the music industry as a queer artist. Like, oh, he's just pulling your hair because he likes you. And it's like, first of all, stop it. Don't fucking do that. And then second of all, it makes sense. Like, that's really a lot of times what's happening. You know, I think that people see something that they like and they fear that that thing is not going to like them back, and so they attack it. This outro has never felt more inspired. Stay safe, stay positive, save the world. I'm Rebecca Sansom. What do you do for your people?